Tonight, the search is on to find the person who tried to tarnish the new George Floyd statue. It was barely up for 72 hours in Union Square before a vandal splattered paint on it. News 4's Ida Siegel spoke to the woman who first reported it and shows us how a community came together quickly to restore the statue. It was just after 10 in the morning, bright sunny day, when passersby noticed the statue of George Floyd just erected here at Union Square a couple days ago had been vandalized. Well, it had to be somebody that was sitting there waiting and watching. There was not one cop in the vicinity. Kira Carter was there just before it happened. She took this picture, then went for a cup of coffee and came back to this a mere 20 minutes later. She and her fiance informed the park rangers who hadn't noticed. So my fiance, he said to them, um, hey, did you guys see what just happened? And they were like, what are you talking about? And they, he said, the paint on George Floyd's face. And they say, get out of here, what, uh, you know. Police say surveillance video shows a man on a skateboard rolling up to the statue and just throwing the paint on it. He then took off. Word spread quickly on social media and soon enough, volunteers showed up to fix it. So did Floyd's brother, Terrence. When I got here and I saw the community, the volunteers working on it, and I found out they was volunteers, they wasn't like, City people doing it. I, I realize I just I just love the, the this love and support. Terrence Floyd was here on Thursday when the statue went up, and he remembers the last time a statue of his brother was vandalized months ago in Brooklyn. Does it surprise you that this happened? No, no. It it, it, it disturbs me that it happened because I'm wondering. What kind of, what, what, why, why do you hate my brother so much? The George Floyd statue sits next to the likenesses of Breonna Taylor and Congressman John Lewis, an exhibit called See Injustice. Now, organizers say it's an unfortunate example of that very struggle. What do you want to see happen to the vandal who did this? Well, I want to ask why, and then maybe to understand their perspective, because you know what, that's one of the things that we all struggle with is to not be able to see the op the opposite side. You can see the statue has since been fully restored. That's thanks to the volunteers. Police are still investigating and they do have that surveillance video to look at, but at this point they have not made any arrests. Reporting from Union Square, Ida Siegel, News 4, New York.